Hey, we're Case and Laura from the Happy Bones family. Um, our kids are happily watching a TV show while we do this tour, but we are <laughs> making a bit of a longer form um, tour of our truck. If you want to see the shortened one, you can check it out right up here, um, and we'll link that for you. But we're going to start on the outside and then move to the inside. Let's, Let's go. go. So Case is going to tell us a bit about the outside first because he knows more about that than I do. So yeah, tell us about the truck. We figured this would be like the perfect place to do a tour because we're it's absolutely beautiful on top of the most gorgeous free camping you can have. Yeah, we're in the Gila National Forest in uh, New Mexico. It's wonderful. So I'll show you the truck. Um, we bought a, a Tacoma, a 2017 Tacoma uh, TRD Pro which came stock with uh, rear locking differentials. We um, improved the, the front setup by adding front locking differentials, and then also did a uh, Old Man Emu Heavy, both front and rear, uh, which allowed it to ride a lot better. And then we also added airbags on the rear, so we can show you that. And then the front bumper and the rear bumper were already on the truck when we purchased it. Um, I like the front bumper, lets us mount the kids' bikes on there. Uh, the back's a little heavy, and I don't think I would have added. But, uh, there's also a worn winch, uh, which is plenty to move our truck and camper. And then it came stock from the uh, factory with the Safari snorkel, which again looks a little ridiculous, but is kind of fun as well. So we like it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that covers the suspension. I'll show you the the lighting system. I'm gonna pop it, Laura. All right. All right, so we've installed an eight gang switch pro system, which runs our ARB our compressor on this side over here. And then also that runs the uh, locking, front locking, which is air and the rear is electronic. Um, so this is a really nice system. We can just plug in uh, new systems as they come. So I think right now we're only running four switches. Uh, so we've got four left to add doodads as we require. Mm -hmm. um, the, air, the air on this side is really neat. We can plug in and fill tires or whatever is needed on this side. So we can just plug in right here and then bring it right back around the truck and, and refill our tires if that's needed. I'll show you the inside of the truck now. So pretty standard, um, but we do have to make some adjustments just because we have two kids we're traveling with and sometimes a dog. And so we just have to make sure we have all our stuff. So the front seats uh, case works here in the morning. So we have a solar powered light that helps when it's dark. Um, and we just keep our normal, normal things up here. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's much else. It's pretty pretty standard for the front part of the truck. And for our boys, um, we had to do some uh, looking around to find car seats that would work well. Um, so we ended up getting the Graco Slim Fit LX or something like that. Um, they can fit side to side. So when we do have our dog, she can sit on the outside and have a window. And then inside the truck, we just have a backpack with books and coloring books and pencils and crayons um, and uh, sometimes one child gets loud so the other child gets the headphones so <laughs> sound canceling headphones and then um, we'll bring around to the other side Perfect. and then underneath we keep recovery gear uh, some extra clothing and then behind we've got uh, their extra toys uh, behind the uh, kids seats in the back on the driver's side of the truck, we have the Switch Pro here that Case was talking about um, with the air, our light bar, um, another plug-in um, if we need to charge something. Um, what's this one for again? Uh, that's our front locking. Oh, that's our front locker. Yep. And then the ACC is an accessory and mm -hmm. that runs our WeBoost so we can turn on and off the WeBoost. Yeah, we don't use that very often though because we use Starlink, so um, nice to have. Um, and then on this side, um, we do have a tub for the boys' toys. Um, that's the most they've had out this whole time. 
but they usually don't uh, play with it very often. But Theo just had a birthday, so he has some new toys that he's very excited about. So, um, and yeah, Case keeps his computer bag behind a car seat. Um, that's pretty much it. Just utilize every little space that we can. Yeah, this is where Laura keeps her laptop. This is where I keep my uh, my book bag with my computer and headphones and stuff. That's about it. I think we'd make our way to the camper. Let's go. So we've got a, a fantastic fan, which is currently broken because we had issues installing. Um, the motor was incorrect from the factory and we're still waiting on the replacement top. Um, this is our top box, which currently keeps two scooters, some helmets, and I think that's about it. Two scooters and helmets at this point in time. So this is just our, our junk drawer of toys. And then on the top, well, this is flipped forward. You can see this white thing here, and this is a Starlink, uh, which you'll notice is a lot more low profile than your normal Starlink. We used a program or a uh, company called, crap, we used, used a company called Unique Componentry. Mm -hmm. And so they cut the back of the dish off and then integrated the router inside the, inside the, um, the Starlink, which is sweet. And then it runs off DC, so it's a lot more energy efficient. Um, you want to talk about our mixing bowl? Yeah, our mixing bowl <laughs> was because our handle didn't quite fit for the scooter. So I cut a hole through the top and I couldn't figure out something that was waterproof and affordable. So we bought a mixing bowl from Amazon and we riveted it to the top. So that's been amazingly efficient. Uh, in the front, we had a uh, custom folded thing. I think we spent 90 bucks on it from a guy in Zeeland, Michigan. And so this just made it a lot quieter, allowing the air to go over the top. And then behind it, when we're in bad service area, we can flip up a Wii Boost. But again, we don't really use it because we can make our cell phone phone calls from our Wi-Fi, uh, which makes things a little bit easier. It keeps the noise down by keeping it, keeping it low. I think that covers it over here. So on top of our roof, we've got 380 watts of solar. I just cleaned them this morning, so every, every couple of weeks we try to keep them nice and sparkly. And that goes into our 100 amp uh, gel battery inside, and I'll show you the electronic components inside our garage. So this is the garage on this side, and we've got everything from Nerf gun bullets <laughs> to our solar system. So this is C-Tech, um, which chooses if it's solar powered. So right now you can see it's solar charging the batteries or off the alternator. Uh, we have our charge controller, um, which is Shure, and then also our um, electronic circuits. Uh, that's about it for solar. It's nice, it's a very easy, simple pro uh, system. On this side, behind all of our junk, we've got a, a Webasto heater, which runs off diesel. And then uh, you can see the um, exhaust and intake go inside of the camper. Um, over here we have well, uh, the exhaust goes out over here. Yeah, the exhaust goes yeah, out here. Sorry, so they, but they, like the the heat part component goes inside. Yeah, the camper. yep, yep, yep. So this is just a bunch of junk here. Uh, we've got a uh, first aid component. This is our uh, air tube, so we can heat things up as or uh, pump things up as necessary. And I think that about covers it back here. Yeah, just random stuff that you might need. Yeah. On the other passenger side compartment, we have this smaller one right here which has a lot of um, kind of random stuff, honestly, but this is all of our winter gear, definitely overflowing <laughs> out of our little basket here, but it worked well. Case installed this shelf because it, before it was just this big compartment. So this shelf really helps to separate it. And so we can put other things down here like medications or like Case has a drill, our water hose and our filter for filling up our water tank. Um, and then behind all the winter gear, I don't know if I dare take this out. Do I dare take it out? Go for it. <laughs> it might all explode everywhere. Everybody, oh, only a little bit. Okay. So back here, we have the um, for the shower. Um, inside, we don't use it often, so it's duct taped right out because it um, kept coming out. But we have our hose in here for our um, shower, and this is for the water heater, actually. So you can turn that on and actually get hot water in the shower, which I'll show you next. So here is the shower cube that Alucab has. This is um, an addition you can choose um, that we chose, but 
we've not used. We've actually used it more as a private potty situation. So you just open this up and inside here there's these this little uh, what do you call that? Like swing that? arms. Well swing arm. Here. Open it up. And this is not so sorry. There we go. And then so it doesn't blow away like this. On the rear of the camper is this shower plate right here shower floor so this comes off and then you put it on the bottom of the shower and then it actually acts as like your floor for the shower or as the floor for your your potty and so. then if you're in a blm land where there's no people and you just have a you great can just view. poop outside right here you have an awesome view <laughs> Okay, so that's the shower cube, and again, the shower hose is inside of this component or compartment, and you just run it through, and you can put it through this little opening right here, and use your shower, and have a nice hot shower while you're out in the wilderness. So, on the driver's side, we have another small compartment, and this is what we use for all of our toiletries and uh, towels. So we use these really nice Turkish towels that are very thin. So we have four towels that are in here and they dry super fast. Um, and they're a lot like a normal towel. And we have kids toothbrushes, cases, toiletry bag, mine that's embarrassingly large. <laughs> and all the shampoo and everything and we use biodegradable soap and everything. So we're out here, we're making sure we're being um, respectful of the places that we're in and uh, a couple different um, uh, like toiletry items and cleaning supplies. Now to the kitchen. Um, this I think is one of the coolest parts of the Alu Cab Kaya camper. Um, it has, it's amazing how much stuff we can actually fit in here. So we have our pantry for <laughs> all of our dry goods here, which is not highly organized, but it contains everything. But we have all of our pantry items in here. Um, and it's about, I mean, my hand is now reaching the back right now, so that's about how deep it is. Um, you can see the depth right here in the cabinet. <laughs> and then we have, it came with bowls, plates, the coffee cups, um, and we uh, got all of our, it came with silverware, um, but we ended up using the silverware area for something else. We put um, Ziploc bags there. All of our utensils go here. So we found a nice bag on Amazon that just fits great right here. Came with this pot um, and we use that for, you know, pasta and rice, but we use, um, I'll show you inside. We have another storage place for our other cooking ware. We used um, cast iron, um, but we have cutting board plates, and then we'll move our tea box a second. And it came with these little Tupperware as well. So we keep chia seeds and coffee and brown sugar. Yeah, we can take this down. And we bought second. this fruit hammock. I see we've got wine cups and coffee cups, uh, three Tupperware containers. And you'll notice this is on a door. So if you're inside, you can actually unlock that door and open it if you need to access something from this area in the morning or something you don't want to go outside like this morning Theo was really grumpy and so we had cereal that was here and we just grabbed it and um, we didn't have to get out of the camper so we have our cutting knives back there and you get uh oh this was something um the Tupperware that came in this spot wasn't very um it warped uh, it, it warped yeah. yeah even with just like hand washing and so I bought this OXO um one and it fits perfectly so that's our snack kind of component and then every one of these um oh boy there we go every one of these cabinets comes with a light so there's um three uh, uh three stages i guess or three levels so there's white light and then if you click and hold you also have a red light so you can use that at night as well what is this called a fruit hammock yeah so we riveted on uh, hooks on each side because this is just a big wasted space up here mm -hmm. um, and our bananas and, kept being smushed yes yeah, so and we <laughs> saved our bananas and our fruit and there's still some wasted space up here so we're not sure if there's a better way to utilize that but that was very helpful in keeping things off yeah. the ground 
Um, and then the kettle goes up here, which we have set out on our table. We use an, a Eureka uh, camp stove um, and it's propane and it's powered by the propane that is on the back of the camper right over there. Um, these stoves typically run off of one pound propane bottles, but they run out really quickly. So we bought a conversion piece so that it goes from a 10 pound to a one pound. And that lets us go oh. three months on on this tank. And yeah, we filled up one time, but we weren't even near empty. So yeah, yeah we've so been going for a while. It was a 20, 20 or $25 piece and it yeah. saved us a lot of headache for propane refills. And money. And then we use these little um, hanging things mostly to hold our trash bags. Um, and then we put our trash, I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute, on the back of the camper. But what they're actually for, is for this guy right here. So on top of the door, we have this awesome component here that you can just open up. Have to loosen them a little bit. And then, there's always the tricky lining up situation here. Hold on. Um, so it, hook right in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. And so now you have this other prep shelf or whatever you want to use it for. Again, this is a little um, flimsy. So we... It's a little bit wobbly. Yeah. I can't see the wood piece. Can you see the wood piece? Sure. Uh, over here. Okay. So what we did is right under here, we just... Put this wood piece in here, put it by the camper, and then now we oh, have... Yeah, go down one. You got it caught. Oh, thank you. Um, we have this more stable surface, so we can even put our um, stove on here and cook with that if we'd like to. So it's amazing all the things you can get in this small kitchen. And then last thing is this table. Um, I think a table is something that's really hard to find or have when you're camping. And this table folds, the legs fold all the way inside. So it's really only however thick this is. And it slides into this spot up here. Let's do it. We're gonna take care of everything? Yeah, let's do it. We gotta put stuff away anyway. Okay. Yeah, here, we'll put the stove okay. up here. I'll grab a side. Okay, so we'll take care of this table. I took the pin out, so I'm gonna put that in my pocket because that would be a bummer if you lost it. So, here's our table. Put the legs in, like so. Just make sure the legs go all the way in. And then you grab the table. Slide it into this piece right here. And grab your pin. Beautiful. And, and you're good to go. And this is something we modified as well. Um, there used to be a, you see these four holes here? There was a big old flippy switch to kind of compress it and lock it in. But the problem was that we had to move our top box probably with a four inch gap. And it looked ridiculous, first of all. Um, but second, we wanted to be able to add the Wii Boost and the foil thing on the front. So we just drill a hole and put a pin in and I've not found any issues with that. And then other, right on this side, this is where our water um, filling spot is. So we That's fill up with water. 75, 75 liters. liters? Yeah, mm -hmm. so about 20 gallons or so. Yeah, of water. So another awesome feature um, that we added to the Kaya Camper was this um, 270 degree awning, like a bat wing. Um, we're not gonna set it up for you right now. If you wanna see it set up, you can check out this short that we did. I'll link it right here. Um, you can see that we have this really unfortunate uh, impact. <laughs> yeah, we were at a hotel and there's a guy that had a pole sticking at least six feet off the back of his truck, which we didn't see it. Like there's nothing attached to it. We ran right into it and not only did it get the cover of the awning, but it actually ripped apart the awning as well. So we are waiting on some patches for our poor awning. But again, if you want to see that, um, awning set up it's super easy um and it's a it's a great awning and we're really bummed right now 30 seconds right 30 seconds we'll link it right here 
<laughs> on the back of the camper we have our fresh water just just gravity fed from our 75 liter um, fresh water tank on the opposite side is our gray water it's really not a tank it's just there's a sink inside um, and it just directly goes to here so we needed to store a little bit we could but we don't really use uh, that very much this is our um, trash bag so we keep our put our trash bags in here so we can carry it and it's not stinking up any part of our truck um, here are leveling pads and then the um, max tracks for when we're off-roading and if we need some more traction uh, so those are four and then opening this up and this was originally a spare tire swing it out. was yes and we had our bikes on here actually we converted a um, aluminum tube which we carried the bikes on but it bounced around a little bit too much and we decided to take them off so we don't have a spare tire or bikes on it right now the spare tire is underneath the truck so yeah. we still have one it's just not as easily accessible but you open this swing arm here and pull down these levers and you have your stairs and then again this is your shower plate or floor and then you can open this guy and let's take a look at the inside so first you have this nice bug net i really like so this uh, camper is a south african camper and they call them mozzie nets because south africans call them mozzies and i think it's a much better name i like it but you have this mozzie net and then you have um just a normal like fabric tent that's the same that's the tent material on the top um it completely blacks out everything and it is waterproof as well so we like to put them up here well, actually, on this door, before I put that up there, there are these nice cubbies that we have. We need to do laundry out in the wild. We have like a little laundry um, container that we can do some laundry. This one is currently empty. This one, we have a like a sand net, which we don't use often because we ended up getting um, this guy right here, um, which has been awesome for our boys. Um, we've not used it a lot in New Mexico because it is uh, too windy and the ground's too hard to put stakes in. Um, and then over here we have another like packable backpack or things. So honestly, this space, we still have more space to fill it up with other stuff. So let's go inside. Here I am on the inside. So right now, um, the, this is where the boys sleep. So this turns into a full um, bed for the well not a full actually bed but a, a bed for the boys um, the table goes here and there's an extra pad that goes there but right now my my legs are there and right above me is where our bed is so this is how here pull it up all the way there we go so there it is up top is our bed and some cubbies and we keep our books and melatonin Ex chapstick extra underwear and winter hats when it's really cold and then this is the fantastic fan which um, didn't come um, i've only seen one other uh, kaya actually have a fantastic fan so i think that would be a great addition <laughs> if we could use it unfortunately again it's still not working laura's popped out and i'm going to show you how we go to bed so we can climb up into bed now we keep our pillows right here now we can lay down and go to sleep but what's neat is our kids now when they're sleeping uh, we can reach down and say hey kids quiet down there because they're sleeping right here with their heads on both sides now one downfall of the kaya was there's no place to sit so we added this board you can see we we added this I'll close that sorry and so we're able to come in here we just used I think like 7 16 plywood and we just flip this up there's a little lever on the other side and now we're able to use this as a sort of headrest and we can sit here and we can read at night or use computers or watch a television and so doing that we can just hang it right from this which makes life a little bit easier kind of like having a couch um, and without it you really didn't want to spend time upstairs all by yourself. And so this is a good way to, to relax a little bit after a long day outside. Okay, so I'll just push this back up. Very easy. Um, what we have down below 
Here we have our kids' clothes. So Theo and Alton both get a basket and they have all their clothes in there. On the other side on top, we have diapers, um, little broom. Uh, we use Venture wipes. If you haven't had a shower in a while, those work very nicely. So like big 24 by 24 inch. Yeah, they're shower awesome. wipes. Yeah. Yep, and then just other like some toiletry items. I have a couple medication things there, um, and then down below, just move these bungees. And then we bought these. Um, they didn't come with the camp. Um, we keep our shoes, <laughs> extra sparkling water and beer because it doesn't fit in our fridge. Um, and the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Which is there. easily accessible. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely easily accessible. <laughs> um, and then on the other side is some more of our cooking gear. So, um, so in here, normally we just take this whole bucket out. We keep some extra food storage in here like pouches, but we use cast iron pans and that's our collapsible dish um dish whatever it's called dish oh, tub dish tub and a uh a, a picnic table like a tablecloth so that's that close that back up and slide it back in oh so we're doing for <laughs> thank you and hook it back up Okay, and then underneath, um, this is Alton's side of the bed. Um, underneath this, there is a little sink that we um, are storing some fruit in. Um, and then there is a, a little faucet right here um, that you can use, but we have taken the pump off of that because, not the pump, not the pump yeah. sorry, we've taken the, um, Just the, the fuse out, the circuit out for it because we were a little afraid that a child would turn on water in the middle of the night and you know that would be really exciting so um but there is that in here if you would need it on this side you can see our aux beam this is an amazon purchase uh, this was just to simplify our electronics this is an addition we had so on this side we have a auxiliary um just a big charging port so we've got a bunch of chargers in there uh, the fuse for the fantastic fan and then this is our starlink so we're able to turn on and off the Starlink and we've got three leftovers. But that was really easy to install. And we didn't have to have a bunch of random wires running from the battery, so. Yeah, so it's very nice. So also inside we have, we I bought these um, nets that are Velcro nets um, on Amazon and we they have been awesome because this whole space was not storage. And so now we have all of our baseball hats go here. The kid's stuffed animal, minus this one because it's too big, uh, go here. And this one is a purse I've not used in forever. Um, but then we also have one above and then one behind me right over here as well. Also inside, um, on either side of the bed, there are these charging ports. So you have these cigarette lighter ones and then you also have these USB uh, charging ports. So like right now Case is charging his phone because um, he forgot to last night. Um, you actually can fit your phone in here, which is kind of cool. Um, and then each person has a reading light. So there's this reading light that's really nice. Um, and that can go up or the boys like to have it down sometimes and they enjoy that time. Um, and what they can do with a little bit of light. They think lights are very exciting. Um, and then over here, we have our controller for our um, diesel heater. And this is also our battery indicator um, right there. Okay, and then on the opposite side, so in case scooches over. <laughs> it's a small space, everybody. We have this 110 charging um, port, I guess that case installed um, so we can you know, plug in a computer while we're driving and we can have it um, charging. There's also USB-C and USB port as well. And we did that really easily. I just installed a 500 watt inverter mm -hmm. and then literally this is a Home Depot power strip. <laughs> so that was my very fast solution so that we don't have um, a complicated electronic structure for yeah. AC power. Yeah, it's hard to like find something to actually plug in. Um, like our computers are obviously needed to plug into a 110 outlet. So we got that. Um, and then by where Theo's side of the bed is, we have these cubbies, which we were joking earlier. <laughs> this is our junk drawer. Like you still have a junk drawer. It's amazing. 
but um, here we just keep things like the kids Yodo player, which is like an audio book thing. Very cool if you have kids um, and just other random things in there. So um, I think that's it there. Back here, we keep a ton of books. Like we actually have a lot more books than I thought we would have <laughs> but it's like the boys love reading them at night and we make use of the little libraries that are around and we exchange some books and add some books um and that's where we keep them right here this is our table um i'll show you how that sets up so there's this piece right here which we almost didn't bring with us and that would have been a huge bummer so there's a part it just slides in right here goes in and then the table, line it up, maybe, can you see it, there we go, line it up, and then you lock it in, and you have this table, we a lot of times put it like this so the boys can place it over there and they can use a table, we don't always use one, um, but it's nice to have a table when it's really windy outside or it's cold or it's raining and it's just nice to have a place to actually go inside and okay so well another thing we really liked about the kaya is the amount of storage that is back here so if you had a tall person sleeping down here you wouldn't really be able to utilize this too much for um storage but this is the pad that goes in between the bed for the boys uh right here and that table that we just showed you goes at the bottom um, this is how deep that storage is about. So when you're looking at the storage space, it's about how deep it is. We keep the boys like sleeping bags back there, our dirty laundry, um, other odds and ends. And it's just a really quick and easy um, way to clean up stuff in the morning. And then up here we have um, our stove that we bring out um, to our kitchen. We have four camp chairs. Um, two tall ones and two shorter ones and then this electronics area so right now we're charging some GoPro uh, batteries and case added this um, electronics do you want to talk about that actually yeah this is just a double cigarette later and so that's attached into the um, eight gang or what is that a six gang switch system the aux from Amazon so right now we're charging a dust buster we've got our kids sound machine and uh, that all sits in here really nicely with two cigarette lighters and so that we can turn on and off uh, to make sure we're not draining batteries or leave on so we can charge the things that need to be charged and then it nicely zips away there's that trying to find angles to film in here is really difficult so, we so have our... <laughs> i'm sitting on the flip down system right here which yes. i don't, don't know if you can we'll show you that understand but we'll show you that's that what's going on right now <laughs> so um, first I'll show you these little side compartments. Um, right now we're not using all the storage, but um, we have our hammock in here, um, but there's just a little side piece there. And that's the same on the other side, but we keep some uh, fruit and veggies on that side. And then under the middle component is our refrigerator. So this is the National Luna. Um, it's a two, what's it called? Two. It has a freezer and a, and a refrigerator, but we yeah. use it all as a refrigerator. So, and around it, we actually have some storage. So we keep extra diapers, some grocery bags, a kid's potty training toilet. Um, the, the toilet, toilet, goes back there. The toilet yeah. collapses. The one we showed you outside collapses and goes back there. Um, and then inside of our fridge, it's very full right now, <laughs> but we have all of our fridge items and what's really nice is they have these baskets so stuff doesn't get buried underneath so you can actually access your things so this one is has two levels and this one also has two levels um, and then this one over here is just one um, and it works super well works off our solar um, and we've never had any issues with it it's really a fantastic fridge and we're really happy we we went with this one. Let's open that up just for a second. Open what up? Right there. There you go. Back so behind here? there, you can oh, see gosh. the zipper just barely. Oh boy. And we're not going to open it. No okay, worries, good. Laura. So behind here on the top, there's a 75 liter water container. And then underneath it on the left hand side that I'm aiming at is the 100 amp battery. And on the right hand side is both the water pump and the water heater. Um, and so if you're uh, really desperate for space. There's another cubic foot of space behind there that we're not using at all either. 
So there's a lot of sort of hidden nooks that we can get to in that's this really cover. amazing. Like the amount of space that's in here. What we loved about it is that so many things in this camper, it has a purpose. There, Everything is thought out and that's what we fell in love with with this camper. Um, nothing is wasted and that's something that we love about this lifestyle is that everything that you have with you has a purpose and is not there, is not frivolous and everything in here is thought out and we were just really impressed with how Alu Cab designed this camper. It's really awesome. So in summary, we really love the Kaya camper. What's your favorite part? I think it's very well thought through in terms of mm -hmm. its design. I love that every nook and cranny is used. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's just a few adjustments that honestly are minor, but like that seat flipping up would be awesome if Alu Cab wanted to incorporate that. Yep. And uh, that would be it's super helpful. Um, but really it is an amazing camper that can do a ton of things. We can go places that, I don't know, other people obviously in the RVs can't go. And yeah, yeah we for, love it. For anybody that wants to live in it a month, two, three, four, five months at a time, I think it's a great one. For a full-time mm -hmm. family of four, I think it's a touch small. Especially and with a dog, which we left home for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so right now we've been <laughs> it for five months. And yeah. so we've decided to go full-time mm -hmm. as opposed to three or four months of the year. And so we're looking at making a change, which you'll see sometime in the near future. Stay tuned.